Hello viewers, this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music, and in this video we're going to take a look at the Century Ostinato Strings for Contact by 8DO, and we'll get started with a cue I wrote demonstrating the use of the strings. So, here we go. instrument comes in violins, violas, cello, and basses. And if you noticed uh, on the title page on your website, it does include six violins, six first violins, and uh, four second violins, as well as six violas. And we have four cellos and four basses. And there are four microphone positions, closed, mixed, deca, and wide or far. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features this has. And it does have a unique feature, actually a couple of groups, one being the double spiccato and triple spiccato, which many string libraries do not have. And something unique to this library, it has agile, slow, agile, fast, agile, or arc slow and arc fast. So we'll go ahead and take a look at those. So in particular, in the violins, I used um, the flowing fast articulation, as you see right here. And that sounds like this. Actually, let's go ahead and listen to the cue just with the violins and violas, because I have them alternating between two articulations. So let's go ahead and uh, listen to those together. So as you see, I use the Agile Fast on the viola. So that's the built-in ostinato there. And then the uh, Flowing Fast on the uh, violin. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cello. Listen to that. So as you see, that's using the flowing fast. And then the basses. Are using the flowing slow. So let's uh, get into more detail on the violins and see how the interface is set up. So you have all these, in addition to the flowing, slow, flowing, fast, agile, slow, and agile, fast, we also have the spiccato, double spiccato, triple spiccato, marcato, and bartok, as well as chaos run long. So here's your spiccatos. Here's your spiccato double. And your spiccato triple as well as Marcato and Bartok. You also have Chaos Run Long, Runs Long. So 
are descending and now ascending. As well as run short. And then ascending. And they're all set up the same way. We have dynamics, which is controlled by the mod wheel. Which are actually disabled for the runs, but if we do the flowing slow, And you see we have the pianissimo, mezzoforte, and fortissimo in terms of dynamics. So it's doing crossfading. And then, of course, you have your expression. And also the ostinatos, you can do the, the core, which is how they originally were recorded. Or you can speed it up to triplets or even double it. But I recommend when doing, when using the library to use the core for a more natural sound. And let's take a look at the uh, violas. So we have the same setup. And here we did the agile fast. Sorry, we're still on the violins. Here we go. And we also have spiccato. And then double spiccato. Triple. Marcato. And although we don't have sustains in our, our, in our articulations, you can use marcato. And then we have Bartok. So your sustains would be, and legato would be in the 8th century general strings library. Then you have your flowing slow. Flowing fast. Agile slow. And agile fast. And then in your effects, they all have the phaser EQ, degrader, delay, transform, and reverb. And they default to the studio reverb, but you have a large selection of choices. And you can also change the reverb from the main window by clicking here on convolutions. And you can change it that way as well. So if I wanted Hall 1, then if you go to the effects and click on the reverb, you see now we're in Hall 1. And that turns it on. And then in the celli, we have the same articulations as your spiccato. Let's see, let's get the celli, there we go. Spiccato double. And triple. And then you have your flowing slow here. Let's 
So really cool ostinatos. So all you have to do is play a chord and then it'll do the rhythm for you. Then your agile slow, which is actually faster than the flowing. You have to hit the keys pretty precisely otherwise there's a slight delay which you could use for effect for example if i if you hit them precisely Agile fast. And then you have your uh, runs. So here's the currently run the long runs. So as you see, they have a lot of bite to them. As a matter of fact, the library has a nice clean bite to it in general. And then you have your short runs as well. And then you're descending. And then uh, after the cellos, let's take a look at the Bases. So there we have the bases. So I use the flowing slow on the cue. So you can almost hear the rosin on the bows. You can hear the rosin on the bow. So and then we have the uh, spiccato. Double spiccato. Which sounds like this. Triple spiccato. as well. Bartok Pits. And then we looked at the flowing slow, flowing fast, which is twice as fast. Agile slow, which is actually faster than the flowing fast, about twice as fast. And then agile fast, which is twice as fast as the agile slow. Then we have our long runs. And descending. So that pretty well gives you an idea. Here are your mic positions. They default to mix when you first open them up, but you can uh, choose different mic positions. Once you choose the close or deca, it automatically closes the mixed. So then you can do say closed and deca, and maybe even add on wide, and then they're all adjustable here. You've got panning controls as well. And Let's go back to the, it's loading right now because I added in those mic positions. So we're not getting any sound at this point. So those are available. 
it's starting to. So we're using all the mic positions there. And then there's also EQ, as you see. And then the speed, here's your triplets, twice as fast and then half as fast. The chorus, how it was recorded. And then your dynamics are controlled by the mod wheel when they're available. So if we do flowing slow, we have our dynamics. So that pretty much wraps up the uh, library. There's your effects again. Transform, delay, degrader. Delay could be handy. Phaser, EQ is, has a default value. They have other presets. You can add some punch, some bite if you like. Although it does have a lot of bite as is. So this is Bill McFadden. If you like this video, please click like. If you wish to be notified of upcoming videos, then please subscribe. So Bill, Mad Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music. Thank you.